promise, this is what Romans says, valid. It makes it genuine. What is that? Lasting for all generations. You look at the, the Israel, if you look at the nation of Israel, they were birthed from Isaac, which was the promise. That nation has endured more trial and persecution, more threats of being extinct and wiped out than any nation on the face of this earth. They, over the centuries, over the thousands of years since it, it was born through Abraham's loins, that Isaac, through the nation of Israel was born. Why could that nation, that little nation survive such fierce assignments of extermination? Because it was born by faith through an act of grace. And when whatever's born of God overcomes the world, even our faith. When it's born by the spirit, nothing in the natural can touch it. Nothing in the natural will be able to kill it off because whatever's born of God overcomes the natural opposition. And that is why the nation of Israel continues to exist in this day. And even though there is threats of extermination from the ages over the time, it cannot be exterminated because it was born of a supernatural birth of faith. And that's what God wants to do with you. He, it is, it, when the faith is born, when the promise is born by faith through an act of grace, it cannot be touched by the, this natural realm. It cannot be killed off because it's valid and it's secure and lasts for all generations. Do you get it? Isn't that exciting? Well, that is why there's such contention over you giving birth to your promise because this is an eternal realm thing. This is... Um, this is, this is bigger than you. And it doesn't matter how little you think the promise is or how big the promise is. The contention to trust God and consider Him faithful is the, is the act of faith that God needs you to do. Don't get overwhelmed. Just come back to that simple thing today and allow God to revive your heart in the weariness and the waiting and, and know that He is going to be he is faithful and just to fulfill that which He has promised you. And he's able to complete that which he started, the Bible says. So I just wanted to um, share that with you today. But I actually want to lead you in prayer. Those of you that have felt the wavered, those of you who have felt weary, those of you who have felt that, you know, unbeknowing to you that you've maybe put God on trial. Maybe that you, he has, his faithfulness has been put on trial. And I just really feel like there needs to be a realignment of our hearts. And we need to s submit and, and surrender our heart again to the word of God. As we resist the devil, see, we have to, to resist him and to, to get rid of those decrees and those that, that, that pressing voice, whether it's a natural circumstance voice or a, or a projective voice in it that is just attacking your mind and your heart and causing like that divination spirit that causes that, that thing to choke off your faith and choke off hope and cause you to want to give up and just surrender to it. The way to get free of that thing is to come back to the Word of God Submit yourself to the word of God. Resist the devil. He's got to go. It's not bigger than God. It's not bigger than the promise. So that's where I just feel like I want to um, lead you in prayer today. So those of you that are feeling this, just enter into prayer with me today and just mean this from your heart and just let the Lord, let the Lord um, revive your heart and anoint you with fresh oil so that you may be able to receive your promise and, and, and enter into all that he's got for you. So we just thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that's on, that's going to watch even later. Lord, that you, you know that you want to strengthen their hearts. You want to encourage them today. And Lord, it is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit. And we just agree with your word today. Lord, we renounce all agreements with the enemy today. We, we, we actually ask for forgiveness and repent for all agreement with a lie where we've where we've been led astray by by a seducing spirit that's tried to lure us into doubt and unbelief that's tried to lure us into questioning your faithfulness lord this moment we repent and we renounce all agreement with that where we've spoken in agreement we've even complained we've murmured we've even uh, said things that that are contrary to your promises and we've allowed our mouths have run over time lord we ask for forgiveness for every word spoken that's been in um, unbelief that's been in doubt lord we ask your forgiveness you are faithful and just to forgive us and wash us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness lord we thank you lord today we just is, is a new day a marking of a new day and we return lord to, to and submit ourselves under the word of god and we we submit ourselves under the truth of your faithfulness that you are faithful and true and that you are just and righteous 
and that you are able to fulfill that which you said, that you are not a man that you should lie, and that that which you've spoken, you will complete and you will finish that which you start. And we just submit ourselves to that word right now. We thank you, Lord, and we agree. With, we wrap our hearts around that word. We agree with your faithfulness. We agree with your person, with the character of your person, that you are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. You are our our El Shaddai, our more than enough. You are our source of all. And we just thank you, Lord, that you strengthen our hearts, that we, we submit now under your mighty hand, that you are able to exalt us in your due season, in your due time. You are able to fulfill in your due season and for us to give birth and enable us to conceive and receive in the impossibility of this natural realm. But Lord, that you breathe life into the womb now and cause a supernatural birth to take place in people's hearts. Ha! That glory and praise would be given to you ha, as a result of this. Lord, we just give you praise. We thank you. I feel the anointing getting released now. I feel hearts getting free. I just felt the anointing just come all over me. Thank you, Lord. Ha! For that alignment. Ha! Shegreshti bandul segreshti. I thank you, Father. Now, for eyes to see and ears to hear, we thank you, Lord, that the enemy is dislodged. The voice of the enemy is dislodged. The, the, the accusations against your name in our hearts now lies are dislodged now. Ah, shakreshti. In Jesus' name, every spirit of divination, that python spirit is trying to suffocate your people, is dislodged. It has no legal claim now. As we reject and we renounce agreement with the accusations of the enemy and we submit ourselves to the truth of God, that, 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 that voice is silenced now in Jesus' name. We silence the voice of the accuser in Jesus' name. We silence every witchcraft that's sent against the purpose and promise of you, of your people, Lord, in their lives. And we just thank you, Father, that it is cut off now, ha, as they have realigned their hearts into your truth. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We release the blood of the Lamb over every person watching over everyone's promise in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for eyes to see and ears to hear what your spirit is saying. We thank you for for the ability to see like Caleb and Joshua at Caleb and Joshua that the giants are nothing in the land. They're not too big for us, Lord, for you are greater and who can stop the Lord God Almighty. I just release that over your people now. I say and I decree, who can stop the Lord Almighty over what God has promised you? Nothing can stop him. I just see like a rushing river, like a wave of glory. I break her anointing. I release the breaker anointing over your people now, Lord. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Lord, I thank you, Father, the breaker, the breaker, the breaker, to break through now and to open up the way, open up the gates. I thank you, Lord, for the for Belpazam, the, 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 the anointing of breakthrough, that you are the head. You go up before us. You break open the way, as Micah says. We thank you for that, Lord for the breaker anointing, to break open every womb that is barren, to break open every every opposition where the enemy would try and hinder. Lord, we just decree the breaker anointing, the breaker release right now over your people in Jesus' name. I thank you for it, Lord. Ha! All the cloaks of discouragement and despair, we decree the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lord, that, that praise would begin to erupt from your people's mouth. The high praises of God be upon their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. I thank you for that, Lord. Oh, yes, we thank you for the high praises now to erupt from your people. And we praise you. We worship you. We acknowledge you as God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Ha. Elohim. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, that, that your people are lifted into the to the realm of creativity, out of the realm of limitation, Father, that they're no longer dwelling in that place. But they're, I'm just seeing a transfer as you're agreeing with the word, you've entered into the realm of, of impossibility to become possible. When we when we stay in the realm of possible, it, it it's a limited place, but I'm seeing a transfer of realms. I'm, the, the, the realm of Elohim, the, the, the realm of the, the, the beginning and the end, the realm of the, oh, the author and the finisher of your faith, the realm of the, the creative one, the, 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 the realm where there is no limitation, there is no beginning, there is no end, it's just the eternal realm. And you are able to walk in that place, you're able to walk in that for 
fulfillment. You're able to walk in that realm and that's where promise is birthed. That's where things get fulfilled is in that realm. It's not, it's, not cre it's not given birth in the natural place. It's given birth in the supernatural place and we're called to, to live from that place, from above and not beneath. We're, caught, we're seated in that place and, and I just encourage you, that's the place to stay and that's the place the, where there's, I'm seeing it like above the earth sphere. That's the place where your promises get fulfilled. That's the place where the impossibles happen. That's the place. So stay in that place because that's the place where, where all things ha, are, pos are possible to those who believe. Amen. Oh, I love it. I've had a great time with you guys this morning. Sorry I haven't read your comments. I'll probably have a little read later. Uh, I just I get in my space, I get focused in what I'm doing. So I just wanted to release that word over you. I just, um, ha, rengendish, vrongindashti, love it. I feel in the anointing. I hope you guys are in the presence of God. Stay in the presence of God. Stay in faith, stay in belief, stay in hope, stay in trust. Ha, reshti kresh, and let the high praises of God be upon your mouth. Praise Him. Praise Him into, praise Him into your victory. Hallelujah. Praise him into your victory. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Greshti. You know, there's a, there's one of the words, the Hebrew words of praise and worship. I can't remember it right off the bat. You probably guys would know, you know, the seven, seven ones, but I can't remember it now, but I teach it, but I can't remember it. But it's one that's, there's a praise that God inhabits the praises of his people. And it's that type of praise where he inhabits and he comes and creates and heals and he moves and, he, and miracles happen is a praise in which we praise where the circumstances are opposite to our faith. And if you can praise in that place, God's power enters that, that place of limitation and breaks through and causes a creative, miraculous power to be manifest in that place. So I just encourage you to praise Him and to let that praise release. The praise in the midst of opposition is what creates a miraculous anointing to manifest in your life that's why it's so it's so powerful to praise so just go off and praise him now and agree with what he said and agree with his faithfulness praise him for his faithfulness and um and just see him move in your life love you guys bless you thanks for being with me and we'll catch up soon bye